Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. It is Wednesday, August 28, 2024, um, at 8.13 in the morning. I'm off the rest of the week because my birthday is Monday, um, Labor Day, the holiday. Um, so, I decided to start catching up on some tags uh, that I have not done. Because uh, I've been busy otherwise, working and training and all kinds of stuff with my job. So, uh, the first tag I want to catch up on is the Tarot Bartender. Hashtag Tarot Bartender is by Sapling Tarot. And I'll make that right in the description below. But basically, she turns drinks into tarot decks. Uh, which we get together for a couple of drinks and discuss. If you'd like to participate in the tag, please feel free. So basically, she just went in, and everybody's been doing it. I've just been watching everybody's, having fun watching everybody's responses. Um, it looks like there's 12 prompts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and I, 13, I missed one. No, I didn't miss one. Thirteen, but I have eleven. Maybe I have twelve ducks. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so the first one on the menu is the old fashioned. It says your favorite classic tarot deck or riff on a classic. And mine is my riff on a classic. I haven't pulled it out in a while. I made a pouch for it with the dragonfly. This is the 2.0 tarot. And I'm going to tell you why it's in this category because. I hated RWS. <laughs> when I first got my first deck was the Radio Right Away Smith and I hated it. And I'm like, maybe I'm just not cut out for tarot. Maybe I'll just read Oracle. And then I saw uh as is per usual a video on Simon from the Hermit's Cave because he, he's inspired to me to buy a lot of decks. I um, noticed he was showing this deck off, and I'm like, ooh, I like the colors in that one. Um, and it's from Make Playing Cards, which he also introduced me through this deck. Um, and it is the traditional RWS. It's just beautiful, beautiful colors. I like how it extends beyond the border to the color, so it doesn't really feel like there's a border on here. Um, I just love it. And I used the crap out of this deck. I still use it. When I reach for an RWS, this is the deck I reach for. Like a traditional RWS. This is the deck I reach for. I even bought a couple others that um, um, have similar coloring and I still never use them. So, <laughs> uh, this is the one to be. And that now I've used it so much. It's super soft. Super soft. But I love the, love, love, love the coloring in this. I'm trying to find the Empress here. Um, yeah, I love the coloring in this. This is, yeah, there she is. Look at the coloring in the background there. I don't use it as quite often as I used to just because I wore this deck out. Uh, but I love it. That's my riff on a classic. Um, so that's number one. Number two is, if I can pull it up here. Gin and Tonic, a no-frills, straightforward, to-the-point deck. And for some reason, every time I pull this deck out, or every time I have a question similar to that, this is the deck that comes out. This is the first deck I always think of. This is the Tarot de la Nue by Los Carabao. And just as a caveat, to let you know, um, these decks are literally just the first deck I thought of when I looked at the prompt. So, um, I love the backs. They're, uh, glossy. They're the thicker two-part box cardstock. Um, this is the very first deck I bought that I physically felt like it just hauled off and bitch slapped me. And I'm like, what is happening? Like, it was like, why are you coming to this to me with this mundane crap <laughs> because you already know the answer and for that 
uh, the Jinnitanga No Frill Straightforward to the Point deck, this is that deck. It's the first deck that ever felt like it just hauled off and slapped me. And, and knocked sense into me, by the way. Or, you know. And, I mean, never mind the fact that it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous deck. I love this tower card. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's very dark. Um, just like the um, Oracle I have also. I don't have the Lenormand yet, but I'm going to get it at some point. It's just too high for to me for a Lenormand deck right now. Um, but yeah, I bought this deck and I'm just like, whoa, like she, she, she ain't afraid to tell you the truth, tell you when you're messing up. Um, yeah, she ain't afraid to, and I love it. I love it for that. Um, and yeah, it literally felt like I got, like, I felt stinging in my face after I used this deck and I'm like, what is like, she just slapped me. <laughs> so that is, yeah, and that's always the deck I pull for that. So that's the deck I use for that. Um, that was the gin and tonic spritz, a deck to brighten your day. Uh, and I have a morbid sense of humor sometimes. And the first deck I thought of was the one that's recently, uh, one of the more recent decks that has made me just ear to ear smile. Um, I have trimmed it because it had huge white borders on it. It was the Pulp Tarot. Uh, it is the Pulp Tarot. Um, I trimmed it and edged it in black and red because the black backs are black and red. Um, I loved it before I trimmed it, and now I'm just like, ah, I hate the cardstock. But this deck, much like the um, Zombie Tarot, I don't know what whatever mood I'm in, whatever funky mood I'm in, I can pull this deck out. And I, it just puts a smile on my face. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe again, like I said, I have a morbid sense of humor. I love this death card. Um, I, 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 I don't know. I love this deck to pieces. I'm, I'm just missing my chariot there. There's the Empress. Love it. There's my chariot. Love it. I uh, adore this deck to pieces. I actually used it for multiple weeks in a row when I first got it. Um, could not put it down. And I love it. Love it. Love it. So when we're talking about putting a smile on my face, yeah, this was the first one I thought of just because it's the most recent one. But I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so that is the Pulp Tarot. Um, and it almost makes me want to get the Horror Tarot they just kind of came out with. Although the Horror Tarot, I think I'm going to buy for my friend because she lightly dabbles and she loves horror movies so um so that was a spritz this deck to brighten your day D dirty martini a strong and salty deck and this is my only oracle in here because i had to put this in here <laughs> it is the sacred creators oracle by chris ann this is a hay house deck used to be an indie then it was brought in hay as a uh, mass market Okay, the I the light series, which is in this video, um, is my favorite deck of all time. It's my soul deck. It's the deck. If I had no other decks, I would have to rebuy it. It's my deck of choice. This is the beautiful, beautiful oracle that she created. I'm pretty sure before she did light series. But I'm going to tell you, every time I use this deck, unlike the um, Terra de la Luna Way that is intentionally telling you, it, it wants you to know that it's smarter than you. <laughs> this deck, don't give a shit. It's like, I'm going to give you this message. You can do what you want with it. I don't care. Um... And everybody's probably looking at this going, what? I don't see that in this deck. But every time I pull this deck out, and I think it's just because at one point, if I'm pulling this deck out, I'm wanting a, a perfectly clear answer. And I've already been asking that question that's already been answered and I'm not paying attention. But by the time I get to this deck, it's like, here, stupid. What is wrong with you? <laughs> We've been telling you this for months. You're just not listening. And so every time I pull this out, um, it, it's very salty, very 
angry that I'm not listening. <laughs> Um, and so this is literally the first deck I thought of. And it's funny because I haven't pulled this out in a while and I just started reusing it in the last week again, which I thought was ironic. Um, and then we had this prompt. So yeah, interesting. So that's my salty deck. Uh, my strong salty. So here we have Pina Colada, a deck for summer holiday. Is it? Oh, 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 oh. And that, uh, the first one I thought of was my B Tarot. Um, it just came out in April this year, right? Yeah. It's got the linen cardstock, but there's something on it that keeps it from sliding, and I freaking love it. Uh, Llewellyn's doing this a lot more lately with their decks, and I'm not mad at it. I used to, I hate linen, and it's funny because that's the card that advertised when I first saw this deck to get it. Oh, I love this sun card. Everything about this deck screams summer. Um, so yeah, it has to be the choice for this prompt. Um, everything about this screams summer. Um, it's a gorgeous deck. I love it to pieces. I've used it. Um, I even took it on a trip with me in April when I got it. Um, I think I got it literally the day before I was leaving. Um, and I took it on my trip just to have it, to look at it, to love on it a little bit. Um, and I just, I love it, but I haven't really used it since then. So I think this is one of my few decks that I consider a summer deck only. And it's funny because I put uh, summer decks, uh, did a video on summer decks a few weeks ago, a couple months ago, maybe. Um, and I left out the Joie de Vivre and I'm like, Why? That's like my ultimate summer deck. It literally embodies the sun for me. So, but since I got this, it's it's now the second deck that I have that's really a seasonal deck for me, uh, which I don't really do that a whole lot. Um, just to keep this train moving. Uh, that was the B Tarot for my summer holiday deck. Hot Toddy, a deck for a cold winter's night. And I was going to use the companion deck to that. Um the Christmas tarot, but, 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 where is it? Oh, she started calling me. I'm like, no, if I'm going to pull out a deck for a Christmas, not Christmas, for a cold winter's night where I want to snuggle in and like dig deep, it's going to be the tarot of the abyss by Anatorian. And this is a U.S. games deck. I mentioned it before that this is one of my decks that I would use for like, um, shadow work and stuff like that in the middle of winter like if i want to cozy up with a deck in the winter time it's going to be this deck um just because it's so stunning and i don't think that uh look at the little elemental in his hands beautiful um i don't think that it's harsh in any way so even though it's black and white you can handle uh whatever message it throws at you and that's why i would use that it's it it helps you it you want to dig deep and this is that deck for me in the winter time look at that gorgeous uh gorgeous so that's my um winter's deck so then we have i'm going through these fast because i don't have i have limited time um that was the hot toddy espresso martini an energy boosting deck and I'm only picking this because it's so full of color. Um, it is the Supernova Tarot. I just got this. It's by Los Garibayo, Los Garibayo also. It's a two-part box. It could also be one of those decks that makes me laugh really hard. It puts a smile on my face. Just because it's so ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> the colors are awesome. The shoes in this are awesome. Um... Yeah, the coloring in it is that um, gives you that energy boost when you're feeling down. Um, it really peps you up, and it does. And the shoes are just fantastic, and the, the outfits. Look at the shoes; like they're fantastic in this deck. Fan freaking tastic! Look at the the ridiculous, right? <laughs> and it has um, the zodiac signs here. Um, it's very traditional RWS to me, but it's got a cool twist. There's my favorite card in there, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, right next to the Eight of Swords. Interesting. That's my other card. Um, 
Uh, but this deck makes you laugh so hard. Um, it just, it's, an, like I said, it's another deck that could put a smile on my face. I love it to pieces. It reads very well. Um, and that's all I gotta say about it. It's just full of colors and brightness and the shoes are ridiculous and I love it. <laughs> I'm just looking at it and like the outfits too. Just looking at it. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna pull you back out the tower. I freaking love this tower. Freaking love it. Um, so yeah, and then look at the hats. The hats in this are just ridiculous also, which I love. I love it to pieces. I forgot, I had it on my list to buy and I forgot about it. It came out of May and I'm like, just came across somebody with it the other day and I'm like, what? So I, um, yeah, went and bought it. Not the other day, but a couple weeks ago, whatever. So that is my energy boosting deck. So now we have Manhattan, a deck to take your time with to sip and savor and that's gonna be i made a pouch for it my marielle uh this is a deck that i don't fully understand all the time um i don't think i'm meant to it's my grandmother and my maternal grandmother in a deck um i think this is literally her deck and i'm the conduit she uses to use this deck so, which explains why I don't fully understand it all the time, but I love it for that connection. Um, and I love that she's in death realizing the mistakes she's made and the, um, damage she's caused and trying to heal that. Um, and that's what I feel in this deck. It's very, this is a very intense <clears throat> familiar ancestor deck for me and because of that um it is uh the one the deck to take your time with um i don't use it a whole lot just because um it's a deck that once something's revealed it's like earth shattering and it takes a while to adjust to that so then when you're ready, it's time to go back and, and read some more. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's what this deck does for me. And I find it very fascinating that it's my grandmother and I kind of sharing this deck and trying to heal wounds that have been passed down generationally. And I love it for that. So that is my take your time with deck. Mojito, a palette cleansing deck for when you need a reset. And I will always come back to this my light series. This is by Hay House. This was an indie deck originally, or Kickstarter, and now it's mass market. Everybody knows this deck. Everybody loves this deck. I just recently paired this with my Heartwood Tarot that I just got in the mail, and oh my god, they're so beautiful together. I'm like, I love it. Um, this is a deck, no matter what. Uh, it's my best friend in a deck. If I have... Like I said, when COVID hit and I was homebound and not knowing if I was going to work again or not, this was the deck I pulled out. Anytime I'm having a super bad time, this is the deck I pull out. Um, anytime I just need a pick-me-up or an I love you, I pull this deck out. Um, this is the deck that sets my mood right, if that makes any sense. It If I'm off kilter or off balance... Um, this deck will come out and it will reset me, um, in a way. So that is why this is my palette cleansing deck. And it's my favorite deck ever. Like I said, if I could only ever have one deck, it would be this deck. Um, and it knows it. It loves me. I love it. No more, no more to say there. So we are on to Bloody Mary, a problem solving deck. And... <laughs> It's the sacred bee. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Yeah, it's a problem solving deck. Um, anytime. I love this deck. It's the journey of the sacred bee. It's in my top five decks of all time. I love it. Two pieces. Um, it's gorgeous, first of all. Second of all, it's my Hierophant in a deck. If I ever need a, um, have a problem or an issue, this deck comes out and it resolves it. Or it 
teaches me a new lesson, uh, a, a new way of thinking about the situation. And I'm like, whoa, every time. Um, again, this is when I don't pull out a whole lot, but when I do, it's powerful and mind blowing and I freaking love it. I, it's more thought based and I love that it's got keywords. It has the Zodiac sign and the planetary alignment on the cards. Um, and so this is also one of the decks I used for, um, the Deacon walk when I did the Deacon walk following, uh, Marlena, Teresa. Um, this was, I, I've always said it, this is the card that like blew my mind in this deck. Like you're always were you know, the, the five of discs, the five of coins, five of pentacles, the door is always closed here. It's open. It's just your mindset, not letting you go through the door. And I was just, that's powerful. Um, that's crazy. And at, at, ever since that card, I have looked at this deck completely different. It always teaches me something new and I love it. And that's why that is my, uh, problem solving deck. French 75, a special occasion deck. Um, that is, and I'm actually going to use this for this one and the next prompt. The next one is aviation, a wild card deck for when you're feeling adventurous. So both of these prompts are this deck. This is the Tarot for the Great Outdoors. It's by Skip Stone Publishing. Anytime I go on an adventure or travel or anything like that, this deck comes out. And it goes with me on a trip. I've edged it in purple because it's purple everywhere. Um, the majors are a U.S. National Park. That's the Niagara Falls. The the only thing I hate about this deck is the cardstock is super paper thin. But the images are gorgeous. And I, last year, September 1st, this deck came out. My friend bought it. She gave it to me that day. Um, September 2nd is my birthday. I went on a um, hi, um, camping trip that weekend because my birthday always falls on Labor Day weekend. And, uh, yeah, I immediately bonded with this. <laughs> it was immediate. And so every time I take any kind of weekend or day trip or anything, this deck comes with me because it's the, yeah, the deck that I go on adventures with. It's the deck that, uh, what was the first prompt I had? So I cheated a little. The special occasion deck. Um, yeah, if it's a special occasion, it's coming with me. Um, to me, a special occasion is me getting to go somewhere other than where I live. Even if I was at a wedding, like the last two weddings I've been at were out of town. So this is a great deck for that. It's in a, If it's in a space I've never been before, I'm taking this deck. Period. So that was for the French 75 and the aviation. So the last deck... The last prompt is the usual, your drink of choice and your most used deck. Now, I will tell you that my favorite deck of all time is the Lightseers. Um, it's my favorite deck ever. Um, but I paused when before I bought it in thinking about it. This deck I did not. It's the Stretch Tarot by J.E. Stretch. So this, in that terms, is my favorite deck ever because... Uh, I use this for reading, regular readings. I use it for past life readings. I use it for mediumship readings. And this is the Make Playing Cards version. Um, I have the version I got straight from J.E. Stretch on his website. But he's since put this deck on Make Playing Cards with the more linen-y cardstock. I don't like this linen-y cardstock. But at least I can riffle shuffle. I can't riffle shuffle the other one. So that one's kind of retired. Um, or I use that one for personal use where this one is, can be more public. <laughs> uh, but this is my fifth favorite deck of all time. Um, it's in the top five, uh, along with, I, I, all of them are in this video except for two, <laughs> three of the five are in this video, but this deck, I, it's such a workhorse for me. And does so many different things for me. And I love that it's got keywords on the minors. That um, it is the deck I use the most. Simply because it does so many things. So, yeah. That's why it's in this last prompt. Because it, and it's literally the first one I thought about. Oh yeah, it's my stretch tarot. Because 
if I want a past life reading, I'm reaching for this deck. If I and I actually have a deck geared for past lives, I still reach for this more. Um, if I do mediumship readings, I'm learning to branch out from this deck because I've used it so much. Um, I do have other decks I pull specifically for past mediumship reading, but for a long time there, I was using just this deck, and then I would do a regular like everyday reading, and it would be this deck. Like I use it for everything. <laughs> So that's why it's in this last prompt of the deck I use the most. So that is my video um, of the tarot, hashtag tarot bartender. Um, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And that's all I got for y'all. Um, have a good night. Bye.